thing. If you're like me, you just saw the title of this video and are preparing yourself for 15 minutes of sheer boredom. You're probably checking your Facebook or getting ready for a nap. Can't say I blame you. No one's really heard of supply chain, and even if you have, you probably know as little as the next guy. Hey, uh, random question. Do you know anything about supply chain management? I don't know. It probably has something to do with the supply of chains. Yeah. You may not have even heard of supply chain before, but you'd be amazed at how important it is. Without it, we'd be living in the Stone Age, wearing loincloths and animal skins. The fact is, just about everything you wear, touch, or taste went through a supply chain. Now here at BYU, you don't impress dates by getting um, dollar fries from McDonald's. You get them BYU ice cream. So what's BYU's secret to making this elixir of love, this manna from heaven? It's their supply chain, and it all starts here at the dairy with raw materials. The main raw material for BYU ice cream is milk. Here at the supplier dairy in Utah County, these cows are milked three times a day. The milk is immediately chilled and sent to one of three 10,000 gallon tanks until it is shipped. So how does it feel to be the start of the BYU ice cream supply chain? I guess that's pretty good. It's okay. Yeah. Next, the milk is pumped into these trucks, which will transport it up to Welfare Square in Salt Lake City for initial processing. Every time material travels from one location to another, it involves logistics, making it an essential part of the supply chain. Initial processing takes place here at the milk processing plant in Salt Lake City. The milk arrives from the dairy and it's pumped out of the trucks into one of two 20,000 gallon tanks. In initial processing, the raw milk is first pumped from the holding tanks into these machines where the milk is separated from the cream. It is then re-blended according to the ratio specified by BYU. Next, it is pumped through these pipes where it is heated to 160 degrees to be pasteurized. Finally, the milk cream blend is pumped into these holding tanks where it awaits to be transported to BYU. Now, BYU makes some of the best ice cream around due to its unique blend of milk fat and cream. First, they increase the milk fat to 17%. You can't share that. Get that away. So, uh, here at warehousing, product is stored until needed further down the system. Inventory management is a huge part of supply chain. So you've seen how the supply chain involves raw materials at the dairy, traveling through logistics to initial processing at Welfare Square, back through logistics, and now we're here at final processing at the BYU Creamery on campus. Let's see how this delicious manna from heaven is made. The raw cream blend from Welfare Square is stored in these tanks before final processing begins. First, the cream is pumped into these mixers where powdered sweetener is added. Then, the cream is heated up to a good 180 degrees to get out all the bad stuff before it is sent to these tanks where various flavors are added. Finally, the creamy goodness is squirted into containers where it is stored here at 20 degrees below zero before being sent out to sweeten the world. Finally, the packaged ice cream ends up here at the Creamery on 9th where it's been bringing people together for over 60 years. And that's the supply chain for BYU ice cream. It starts with raw materials at the dairy and travels through logistics to Salt Lake City for initial processing, back through logistics to final processing in Provo, and eventually ends up on retail shelves across campus. Sounds simple, right? But what about the cows, the machinery, the chocolate, the cookies, the flavors? All these inputs have supply chains of their own, and they rely on supply chain management to function. So the next time you get an ice cream cone, just remember that you have supply chain to thank for it. Stop by the Advisement Center and the Business School to learn more about BYU's Global Supply Chain Management degree. Cheers. That's good.